Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to this special Star Wars The Rise of the Skywalker tutorial series. I did already two episodes. Episode one, what we did is we extracted different photos from the web. I give you all the links below this video. I give you also my photos from the amazing Imperial Dunes, and we put everything together. In episode two, we match all the colors, and now episode three, the final. That's where Anakin Skywalker becomes Darth Vader. No, that's when I'm going to show you how to finish this photo. So now we need to definitely do some more work to get a better result. On the mountains, I'm going to go here. There's something weird that kind of doesn't, I don't like this little part here. So that is on the foreground. I can go on the mask of the foreground. I can add a mask to the foreground and take the famous B brush. Remember the B brush? The B brush, B brush, okay. Make sure the harness is 80%, make sure the opacity is 100% and it's black. And I'm just gonna erase this. Hold, holding the shift key, remember you gotta hold the shift key. You got to hold the shift key. And voila. Okay, I think that just is a little more clean. Okay, another final touch I wanna do uh, mainly, uh, it's going to be mainly on race. So the first thing I want to do on her is I want to add some shadows. Okay. So, uh, but before we add the, well, I want to add some shadows. So I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to go to the ray folder. Okay. And behind here, I'm going to plus. Okay. And I'm going to put this in the back. All right. I'm going to call this shadows. Ray. Okay, and so let's create some shadows first and then I'm gonna add some dust and things to make her in the thing. So that's gonna be kind of the tr tricky part. So how to add some shadows? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna select her by clicking Command and on the mask. When you click Command or Control and on the mask on Windows, you, you get back the selection that we did earlier, okay? Now that selection, I'm gonna take this color here and I'm gonna, you see, I'm in the color picker and if you go out of the color picker, you get this little symbol. I'm gonna take the darkest shadow I can find here, okay? And I'm gonna fill that selection. You won't see it because it's behind her for now. So I'm gonna go to edit, fill, and I'm using the foreground color. So you wanna go to foreground color and press okay. Okay, so now I fill that in and I'm gonna press command D to, or I can go to select, Deselect or Command D, okay? And now, check this out. And if, by the way, little trick. If you want to see what's on a layer, you can hold on the Option key, boom. And you can see what's on that layer. And you can see on that layer, we just have her in brown. And now I'm gonna try to do the shadows. Do or do not. There is no try. Yes, master. I do it. Okay, so Command T. And I'm gonna right click and go to uh, distort. And you take the middle hill and you just bring it down. Voila, and now, and you can bring it up. And you see it forms like a shadow uh, of her. Now shadows is supposed to be a little bit blurry and it's supposed to fade away as it goes. So there's different ways to do that. First, I'm gonna lower the opacity of the shadow. Well, first, no, I, I'm gonna lower the opacity of that shadow so that it blends better. Okay, and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna take this tool, which is called the blur tool, okay? And by the way, if for some reason you're missing a tool here, you can go to edit, toolbar, and uh, here is all the tools. I've already used all the tools, but you can drag and drop them from here to there, or click on restore default, and you should have the blur tool. So the blur tool is this little thing. I'm gonna blur the shadow especially uh, away from her, okay? And, and you maybe don't see it, but as I brush, it's blurring a little bit the shadow, okay? Uh, maybe I can go, no, it's, it's, it's doing its thing. It's just, it's just doing it very light. So I'm brushing, I'm brushing, I'm brushing, and I'm making the shadows a little bit blurry. So now what I wanna do is I wanna make this, this shadow fade away like a shadow. So I'm gonna create a mask on this. Take my brush, B for brush. I need a big brush. I need a very soft brush, super soft. 
Yes, soft like that. Uh, lower the opacity uh, like at uh, 20%. Make sure black is foreground. So I'm painting with black at 20%. It's more light gray than black. I'm painting on a mask and you see as I do that, it's gonna, whatever I paint is gonna sort of fade away. So I'm fading away the shadow like this. Okay, that's pretty cool. So already she looks like a little more there. But now we need to get some sand on her shoes here. So now I'm gonna go on the ray mask and I'm giving you a whole bunch of brushes. So if you go to um, what you download, a Star Wars brush free ABR, you double click on it. You don't even have to relaunch anything. You go back to, and now you go to brush. B for brush, I'm gonna go to uh, all the way down here, Star Wars free brush, and I'm gonna take like a splash brush, okay? And I'm gonna go right click and make the splash brush. See, it's at 2,500. I'm gonna make it like a really small, like this, okay? And I'm gonna make sure the opacity is very like 20%. So black is here, 20% is here. And now what I'm doing with that is I'm basically splashing dust on her. Especially on her shoes. It's mixing up basically the, the sand with her shoes. And you can make it smaller and insist a little more on the top of the shoes, like if they were really in the sand. And it's just gonna help sell the effect that there is sand over her, like this. Okay, that's pretty cool. One thing you can do is you can go to the haze layer, which I forgot to name, haze layer. That's the haze layer of the group ray. B for brush, and let's go back and let's take the soft brush again. Okay, make it very soft, make it very thin, like this. Uh, very light. So press the Alt key. Let's take this light here. Okay, this and makes it even lighter because I want it, I want it to be haze. So something like this, and I'm just gonna brush here, uh, like if there was haze coming from the uh, sand. Okay, maybe a little too much. So come in Z, come in Z, come in Z. Yeah, it's a little too much. So I'm gonna redo it. B for brush. B for brush, and I'm gonna do it like at 7% or something. Yeah, 7% just here on the feet. It just helps, yeah, adds a little bit of things. I'm just gonna lower the opacity, I think, of the overall haze on her. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now we, we gotta do the shadows of the stormtroopers. Uh, all right, so same idea. I'm gonna go to the group of the stormtrooper. I'm gonna create an empty layer. I'm gonna put it behind the stormtrooper. Okay, I'm gonna call it shadow. I'm clicking on the stormtrooper uh, layers with command it, and it's because there are, this was like PNGs I got. All the stormtroopers that I got from the web, I found them in PNG format, so they are already extracted. You just drag and drop them, you don't have to extract them, which is really cool. I'm gonna click here on the foreground color and I'm gonna sample a shadow, a really dark shadow here, something like this. Okay, perfect. And I'm gonna go and edit fill with this, which is the foreground color. Okay, so now, Command D to unselect. So now check it out, if I press the whole key, you can see this is their potential shadow. Command T as usual, right click, distort, take the middle, put it like this, like the sun is in the upper right, so the shadow should be like this. All right, and um, I can make even, I can use the warp tool to make this match even better. This guy's here, oops. Uh -huh. All right, okay. Now the shadow is hardly visible here. So what you can do is on here, I'm gonna take a little brush. Okay, uh, make sure it's about at 50%. And I'm just, because they are far away, I'm just gonna click here and I'm just gonna go a little darker and a very tiny brush. And I'm just gonna add a bit more shadow. You can just brush in the shadow. When it's far away, you don't have to be really precise. I think I wanna make it even darker. It looks like there's some kind of shadow. Just follow the, the thing. And you can also use the blur tool to blur a little bit of shadow. Uh, 
Yeah, anyway, there are two... I need to add some A's on the Stormtroopers anyway. And this shadow, I want to blur a lot, especially here. And also, you can add... I can add a, a mask here, as we did before. B for brush again. Remember, this time we want a very soft brush, black as foreground and like very low, something like this. And I'm just going to make this a bit less visible here. Voila. Okay, perfect. Okay, now there are shadows, but they are too visible, so we need some sand over them. So I'm going to go here and uh, add some haze. So I'm going to go here, take a brush. So remember, haze is always very low in opacity. We're going to take a very light color, maybe this color here, and, um, and basically brush some haze over the Stormtrooper. Even more on this one, because they are further away. Further away you are, more haze you have on you. So this has haze, this one, voila. And I'm starting to like this photo. It's starting to look like something. The haze is too strong here uh, on this Stormtrooper, so maybe I'm going to put it even everywhere, like this. Okay, now that's way too much. So I can just lower the opacity of the haze. That's a good way to sort of, you know, measure that. And now I'm ready for the final touch. I kind of like what I did. And now I'm ready for the final touch. So I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the top layer here. So now you see we have all this group. I can shoot from the start. So here we have the sun. Then we have the mountain. We have the star destroyer. We've got the foreground. We've got Ray. And we've got the stormtrooper. Okay. And now... I'm going to press Command Alt Shift E. That creates a layer with everything that we've done so far. And now that layer, I'm going to call it Final Result. This layer, I'm going to right click and make convert it to a smart object. And now I can go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and it's like a raw file. I can I can do whatever I want in Camera Raw. Usually, what I like to do is do my standard workflow. So open up the shadows, bring down the highlights. I do my black point and my white point. It's going to add a lot of contrast. I think I can add some magenta to the photo, maybe lower a little bit the vibrance, add a bit of contrast. Okay, I think the highlights, yeah, maybe a little more black. I can add, I like to add some texture, maybe a little bit, and lower the clarity just to make things a little bit more diffused. And I think I want to make this a little bit brighter here. And I'm going to make a gradient just for the bottom. So I'm going to click here on minus exposure. Just make a small gradient for the bottom. It's going to help sell the effect that it's here. I can click on the end here and maybe add a little more magenta and a little more yellow. Yeah, yellow kind of does the trick. I'm not sure I want to lower the vibrance. I don't know. It's maybe, yeah, I don't want it to be too yellow. Adding colors and then lowering the vibrance sometimes does a nice sort of mix that I kind of like. Okay, and um, let's see here, maybe a bit brighter. And the good thing is because it's a smart object and it's camera row, so you can see the before, after. I can compare to what I, some of the first tests that I did. Uh, hold on, this is the first test that I did. I actually like more what I did. It the fact that she's like where Duncan is looks a lot more realistic. Uh, I just went a lot less magenta, so I can double click on the row camera row filter. And maybe take out some of the magenta uh, and put in a bit more yellow, maybe no, something. You know, whatever, whatever you like. That's the final result. I hope you like this episode. <laughs> and that's how I feel about it. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try to make one to two videos per week. And if you like this kind of things, let me know in the comments. I can do more uh, Star Wars fan art. I can do more composites. Tell me what you want to learn. Leave me a comment. I hope you enjoyed this series and I hope you're going to like the latest Star Wars. I'm hoping it's great because I'm a huge fan of the original Star Wars from 1977, from the 80s. I've seen every one of them 13 times. Huge fan. So may the force be with you and thank you for watching this video.